Hey everyone, a quick note before this episode starts. The next two weeks, we will not have new episodes of Anchored. Stick around to the end of the episode to hear what we have coming up next. Hey, Tristan here. I don't know about you, but I wrestle with my own desires to be constantly connected to my community, my region, the country, and the world. Often this causes small amounts of anxiety in me, but I feel like I have to keep up with what's going on all around me. You know, I enjoy keeping tabs with uh, local community groups on Facebook, for example. Even the Ring app on my phone, it tells me when there have been sightings of criminal activity near my house. Uh, I like listening to new music from acquaintances and artists' friends in Washington State. I make sure I'm reading, watching, and listening to the latest pop culture and political news from around the country. And I often feel that I must hear perspectives from around the world about wars and conflicts happening far away. I'm guessing you're like this too, to some degree, right? Connected to too many things, so many different things. And for me, I'm distracted from what's right in front of me. My anxiety increases raised by people and events that I don't have influence over. Let's read a passage from Jeremiah that may give us some insight into this problem. So Jeremiah 29, four through nine says, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, build houses and settle down, plant gardens and eat what they produce, marry and have sons and daughters, find wives for your sons and daughters and give daughters in marriage so that you too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there, do not decrease. Also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. What I want to focus on is the idea of caring for our community and the people we are immediately surrounded by. I'm sure if I put the effort into being concerned about what's happening in my community, as I do with what happens all around the world, I would be a better neighbor, I'd be more present with my family and friends, and I'd have more time to give to my community when I see a need. I'd also be more centered on Jesus. So take some time to talk to God. Ask him how you may want to step back from the news and culture uh, that you see online and to think more locally about what's going on and what you can do to be a light to the people around you. You have a unique place in this community with the gifts that God has given you. How can you bring God's love to the Tri-Cities? Hey, Anchored listeners, thank you for engaging with uh, these episodes of the summer. This is the last episode coinciding with our Centered Even in Divided Time series. I hope you've been challenged and, you know, hope God has laid on your heart ways to center every part of your life on Jesus. I wanted to let you know what is coming up next with the Bethel Sermons and the Anchored Podcast. The next two weeks are standalone sermons, and we'll be taking those two weeks off from new Anchored episodes. When we come back, we will be jumping into our new fall series called Daniel, Hope for Exiles. This new series starts on Sunday, September 8th, and a new Anchored episode will release Monday, September 9th. So while you're waiting, we actually covered the first six chapters of Daniel as audio-only episodes back in 2023. Uh, I have a YouTube playlist with all nine of those episodes linked below for you to listen to. This is a great way for you to jump into the book of Daniel uh, you know, a little before the series starts. So thank you so much for supporting the Anchored Podcast. As a reminder, if you're part of Bethel Church and interested in being a podcast host, you can email me, video at Bethel.ch. I'd love to connect with you. God bless.